In this video, we are going to continue with volume formed by two functions. You will find this on page 349 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at this example. The diagram shows part of the curve and the line y equals 5. Find the volume obtained when the shaded region is rotated through 360 about the x-axis. Okay. Now, in this one, the, okay, the first thing is we must find, let's start with this, we must find this point and this point. That's the first thing. Now, how do we find that point? We solve this two simultaneously. Okay. And we get that this is 1 and this is 4. Now, this is Actually, I want to introduce this, this method 1 to you because I think method 2 is if you are familiar with. But method 1 is saying, if this almost like a rectangle, if you take this rectangle and it becomes three dimensional, it will become a cylinder if it starts rotating. So if you take this cylinder and you work out the area and then you work out the area under the curve, you subtract that area which I highlighted there for you. That one. Then you will you find that shaded area. So what is a cylinder? Now just check if this is this is going to be this one here is going to be three. And if I'm looking, because this is 5, then this is going to be 5. So let's make the radius, the radius 5, okay? Because remember, it's also going to this side. So make the radius 5, okay? Because it's turning, so it will, because it's this side, the diameter will be 10, but the radius will be 5. Okay, and make the height then what will the height be? 4 minus 1, 3. And if I substitute that, okay, and then I subtract the curve, and it's between 4 and 1. And then I'm just integrating this part, substitute, subtract from the cylinder, and I'm getting 18 pi units to the power of 3. If I follow the old method, I will just say um, it's going to be under a line, so it's just going to be 5. Are you with me? Don't forget, it's pi the function square, that's why there's a square, because it's volume. And again, this function, just like I squared there, it must be squared, first multiply out, and then integrate, then substitute, and I'm getting exactly the same answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do, I want you to do number two. I want you to try to do number two on both methods. It's especially in practice, sometimes it's good to challenge both practice so that when it comes to examination, uh, sometimes one method will work better and you are already introduced to both. Okay, so let's start. We're first going to do the one with the cylinder. The diagram shows part of the curve. Okay, this curve is a bit, bit more difficult, the formula. The point 4 and 3 lies on the curve. Find the volume of when the shaded region is rotated 360 about the x-axis. Okay, let's start with, let's call it method 1. Okay, now if I'm going to start with method 1, I'm going to say the volume of the shaded is going to be volume under the curve minus volume of the cylinder. Okay, let's just see why it is, is a bit different now. Uh, because in this case, it's almost in this case, the cylinder was on top. Can you see? And the curve was underneath. That's why cylinder was first. But in this case, the curve is on top. Do you see? And the cylinder, there's the cylinder. The cylinder is underneath. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, this is why I asked you to do this one, because it's a little bit different. This one was more or less the same. Okay, so if I'm going to start here, I'm going to say, okay, so volume under the curve. Don't forget it's volume. And it's going to be between, uh, do you see, it's just going to, this point is 4, and this point is 0. So it's going to be between 4 and 0. And what is that formula? It's going to function, now like nice, because it's squared, I'll show you now. Um, square dx minus, what is the volume of the cylinder? It's um, always the area of a circle times height. Okay, that's the volume of a cylinder. Now, I'm going to start. Now, do you see what happens here? As soon as you square this, then the square root will go away, and it will just be 25 minus x squared dx. Okay, now I'm going to integrate. So I'm going to get 25x minus x3 over, don't forget your pi there, um, over 3, and it's going to be 4 and 0, do you see? And I'm going to substitute. Now, look here. Um, if this, this is 3, so it means that this is 3. Do you see that? And because this is 4, then it's this is 4. So the height is 4 and the radius will be 3. So I square, remember this is the radius, it's also going on to this side if it starts rotating, so 6 will be the diameter but 3 will be the radius. And the height will be 4. Okay, I can start substituting here. So I'm going to get 25 and then I'm going to put a 4 minus and I subtract and this is going to give me, okay, it's going to 3, it's 9 times 4, 36, 5. Okay, and if I simplify this now, okay, let's continue. So basically, this is going to be by 24 times, uh, 25 times 4 is 100, then 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Uh, so it's going to be 64 over 3, and that's just minus 0, minus 36 pi. So if I'm going to simplify that, I'm going to get 100 minus 64 ABC3 equals, um, okay, I'm just going to write it here to you, it was giving me 78 and 2 thirds pi, minus that 36 by the cylinder, so minus 36, and I'm getting 42 and 2 thirds by, and it's units to the power of 3. Okay, keep this, in, okay, remember the answer, it's, uh, I want to write it here, because I want to do it on the other method. So it's going to be 42 and 2 thirds pi. Okay, now let's do the other method. So this was method one. This was method two. Okay. Now, if you look at method two, it's volume between the two graphs. So, volume is number two. Volume between 
the two girls. Okay, now this is going to be the curve. Are you with me? Curve minus that straight line. So that is going to be, okay, and it's every time between 4 and 0. So it's going to be, and don't forget, the curve, I square it, so it's still that 25 minus x squared squared minus, and don't forget that if this is 4 and 3, it cuts there at, this is the line y is equal to 3. Okay, so it's going to be 3 squared. There's the straight line. And I'm going to integrate to x because it rotates around the x-axis. And don't forget pi. So square, don't forget if it's volume, don't forget pi. Put it in front. Okay, now I'm first going to get it ready. Oh, I forgot the root here. So this is just going to be 25 minus x squared minus 9 dx and this is going to be minus x squared and 25 minus that 9 is going to give me 16. Okay, now I can integrate. And if I'm going to integrate don't forget your pi, it's minus x at 1, 3 over 3 plus 16x, I could have write it on the same line, it doesn't matter, okay, 4 and 0, and now I'm going to start substituting. So, okay, let's just make it minus... 4 to the power of 3 over 3 plus 16 4 minus negative 0 to the power of 3 3 plus 16 0 and that is going to give me pi so this is going to be negative 64 as you see um, okay. This is going to give me negative 64 over 3 plus 16 times 4. It's going to also give me 64. And this is just going to be minus 0. Okay. So it's going to be 64 minus 64 ABC 3 equals. Ah, oh, it's so nice. 42 and 2 thirds by, okay, and it's units to the power of 3. Do you see it's exactly the same? So it doesn't matter what method you do, but it's sometimes just good to practice more than one method. And then in a test or examination, you can decide which one is the best.